Reynolds is a proud supporter of CSUB Athletics. We're loving it. Well, if you're tired of paying full price for your tickets at the box office, ticket plans are now available through April 19th. Save anywhere from 15 to 40% off regular price. For more details, head on out to the ticket information table near the main gate. Going to the eighth inning here, Sergio Luna continues to be out on the mound for the Roadrunners. Senior, redshirt senior, his final year here in, with the baseball program. Not a lot of seniors on this team. Four seniors for Bakersfield. Chance Gusbeth, the starter, is one of them. The starting pitcher today. Monterez, who will be the starting pitcher in game two of the doubleheader, is another senior. And Nick Vedewald, who is a kind of a utility player, plays, uh, plays some first base and plays some outfield and even can catch in a pinch. Kyle Menenhall, the number eight hitter in the Sooners lineup, comes up to the plate here to lead off the Top of the eighth inning in a 7-7 tie with Cal State Bakersfield. Luna into his windup, first pitch of the inning. There's a fastball down the middle for a called strike. One no ball and one strike. Now here's the 0-1 delivery. Breaking pitch high and inside, even in the count at one and one. Men in holiday drew a walk and scored in the second inning when Oklahoma scored four times. Granted into a double play in the third and sacrificed during the two run rally in the sixth thing for Oklahoma. Here's the next pitch. Outside corner for a called strike two. Breaking pitch. Luna ahead of the count one and two to Mendenhall. Kyle Mendenhall. Luna into his pitch. Pitch stays high and inside, even in the count at two and two. Dominic Dorenzo, the catcher, is on deck. Then Kate Harris, the leadoff batter, who has been on base four times a day, is number three hitter in the inning. Half swing by Mendenhall, and he's ruled by the first base umpire that he went too far. Strike three. Second strikeout for catcher, Luna. Pitch sweeping, breaking pitch, broke about a foot outside. Mendenhall tried to hold up on a swing, but uh, went too far, according to first base umpire. First base umpire is Mike Jarbo. Ramon Armanderas is the third base umpire, and Joe Maiden is at home plate. First pitch is a ball to Dominic Dorenzo, bounced to the backstop. Here's the next delivery. Curveball for a called strike, one and one to count. Luna going to an off-speed pitch there, trying to keep the hitters off balance. He's into his windup. Here's the one-one pitch, swung on and popped up foul out of play. One ball and two strikes on Dorenzo, the freshman catcher out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who is. Had a pretty good series with the bat. Next pitch is outside. This is outside for even the count of two balls and two strikes. Dorenzo, six foot, 183 pounder, out of Pittsburgh Central Catholic High School. Probably got tired, tired of the cold weather. That's why he wound up in Oklahoma. Luna in his wind up. Here's a 2 2 pitch. Swung on and lifted into center field. Deaton goes back, he has a play, he makes a catch at the edge of the warning track. Actually, that would be the center fielder, three, Drew Seelman, Cade made that Harris. catch. Fly ball to center for the second out of the inning. Cade Harris has two walks, two singles, stole a base, scored a run. He's had a good afternoon. Cade Harris played second base last night. Now he's playing third base today. He's another freshman. They've got some good freshmen on this team. Here's the first pitch. A little bit low on a breaking ball, 1-0. Pretty close pitch there. Luna in his windup, the 1-0 delivery. 
That's a breaking ball. That one caught more of the plate. Strike calls. One and one. Luna Unu's wind up, the one one delivery. Behind Harris. That one got away from uh, Luna. Two balls and a strike. Here's a 2-1 pitch. There's another curveball for a strike. Strike two called. I don't know if they're not picking this curveball up or uh, they're sitting fastball, but uh, every time Luna throws a breaking pitch, it looks like uh, Sooners are not uh, offering at it. 2-2 two -two pitch on its way. Another curveball, that one stays high, three and two. So what does what does Luna feel comfortable throwing here? Three balls and two strikes. Two outs here in the eighth. A tie tie game. Tie game seven seven. Three two pitch. A little bit lowing in on a fastball that time. Misses inside. That puts the potential go ahead run at first base. Harris did have a first inning stolen base. Wonder if he might think about taking off here. Hunter Haley now the left fielder. He's two for four with a pair of RBI singles. RBI singles in the second and the sixth. Flied out and struck out his other two appearances. Left-handed hitting Haley against the right-handed pitcher Luna. Here's the first delivery. Almost hit him with a fastball. One ball, no strikes. Outfield shading him toward right field slightly. See him in the center field. There's a few steps into the right center. Robles deep in right field. Haley does have a lot of power. Throw to first. Harris dives back in safely. He wasn't off too far. Sergio Luna, senior right-hander for Bakersfield, is trying to work out of the eighth inning here. Bullpen has been inconsistent for Bakersfield, so there's a lot of jobs still up from the air. A breaking ball outside, 2-0. Now Kyle Adkins asked for time to go out and talk it over with Luna. If somebody starts settling in and does the job on the bullpen side, they're going to be getting a lot of work. Coach Bob Macaluso is just still trying to find the right combination on who to call on when in these situations, late inning of close games. This one's 7-7 here in the eighth inning, Bakersfield in Oklahoma. 2-0 count now on the number two hitter, Hunter Haley. Harris, the runner at first. Got a pretty good lead over there. And now Luna steps off the rubber again. Now Harris starts inching off. Here comes the pitch. There's a breaking ball for a strike. That's been his best pitch so far. Two, two and one to count. Did not give in to Haley on that at bat, on that pitch. He's into a stretch. Throws over to first, bounces it. Nice pickup on a short hop there by Max Carter. Harris dived in safely. 2-1 count here, Luna versus Haley. Throw back over to first, that one's a little more accurate throw, but no problem for Harris getting back in safely. So Luna looking in, he's in a stretch. Here's a pitch. Breaking ball again. This one stayed a little high and away. Three and one count. Sheldon Noisy, the leading RBI man for the Sooners who had an RBI double his last time up, is on deck. Luna, three and one count. Here's the pitch. Another breaking ball. Misses outside for ball four. Back-to-back -back walks here have. Short stop, number 22. Put the Sooners with two runners on base now with two out here in the eighth of a tie tie game, of a tie tie, tied game, 7 7. Noisy, two for four. He has an infield single in the fourth, an RBI double in the sixth, also struck out and flied out. Now Adkins is going out again to talk to Luna. A little action going down to the bullpen and down the right field line where the roadrunner 
Justin Roberts, the volunteer assistant, is walking down there, probably to check on the status of the uh, bullpen. Right now, it's Luna versus Noisy. This is this could be the ball game right here. Oklahoma's best RBI producer and Luna trying to work it out of a jam. Here's the first pitch. Pitch in the dirt. Nice short hop pickup by Atkins, who goes back out for the third time to talk to Luna. 1-0 count on Noisy here with Kate Harris at second base and Hunter Haley at first. 7-7 seven, seven tie here in the top of the eighth inning. Here's sh short lead off second. Here comes Luna's next pitch. There's a breaking ball, a little bit inside. Close pitch, called a ball, 2-0 oh the count. So after back-to-back -back walks and now a 2-0 -oh count on Noisy, Luna's digging himself a little bit of a hole here. And a 2-0 -oh delivery. There's another curve ball. This one is good for a strike. Two and one count. Look, he's trying to stay away from his hard stuff. Noisy right in the batter's box. Luna looking in for the sign, has it. Looks at second. Here's the pitch. Another breaking ball. And grounded up the middle. Metzger had been in that spot and shifted over. Now here comes the throw to third. Coming in to score the go-ahead run is Harris. And Noisy never stopped running, so he gets an RBI single and takes second on the throw over to third as Haley races to third safely. And now Oklahoma again has taken an eight to seven lead on Noisy's RBI First single up the middle. Number that was a ground ball and Metzger had been just in that spot and had just broken to his left. And as he tried to change direction, slipped. And, uh, after, and they had, once he slipped, he had no chance to make the play. Bob Macaluso, the Bakersfield head coach, points to the bullpen as he's walking toward the mound and we'll have a pitching change right here. Oklahoma has strung together two walks and a base hit by Noisy to take an eight to seven lead here in the eighth inning over the Roadrunners. Now on the mound for CSUV number 31, Matthew Franco. Matthew Franco will now be the pitcher for Bakersfield. Worked last night, he's a sophomore left-hander out of Rosamond. Went to Desert Christian High School. Oklahoma here is trying to make it three in a row over the Bakersfield Roadrunners. Franco will be the fourth Bakersfield pitcher today. Jack Flansburg, the Flansburg, the cleanup hitter for the Sooners, is a left-handed batter. That's why they bring in the left-hander. He'll be the first batter that Franco will face. Oklahoma has broken the tie here on walk to Kate Harris with two outs, followed by another walk to Hunter Haley, and then Sheldon Noisy with a ground ball single up the middle to knock in the go-ahead run. Eight to seven, Oklahoma leading Cal State Bakersfield here in the top of the eighth inning. Game has uh, been a slow moving game and uh, we started at 12 noon and here we are at uh, 3, 245. It's closing in on, it's gonna be over three hours long before this thing's over it sounds, seems like. So noisy single was the 14th hit today for the Sooners. Bakersfield has 10 hits. The Roadrunners have the only error of the game. Warm-ups are completed, so we're ready to get back in action here. Jack Flansburg coming to the plate. 0 for 4 today. Grounded out, flied out, flied out, and struck out looking. Sooners, however, have a run in for an eight to seven lead, have runners on second and third here with two out in the eighth. Go. 
Franco trying to keep it close. First delivery, breaking pitch outside for a ball. 1 0. Lots of offense in this game. 8 7, Oklahoma leads in the eighth. Franco into his stretch. Here comes a pitch. Pitch in the dirt. Adkins swallowed it up, but 2 0 count. Franco has not given up an earned run in three innings, this, but he has walked four in three innings, so control has been an issue. Right now, 2-0 count against Jack Flansburg. Taking a long time, very slow worker. Now he's into a stretch. Here's the 2-0 delivery. Fastball aiming for the inside corner, misses inside for ball three, 3-0. Three now Franco walks off the mound. Now back on. 3-0 count. Sooners already have two walks in the inning. Crowd getting, crowd getting restless here. 3-0 count. Franco with a 3-0 delivery. That one caught, catches the corner. 3-1 count. Frank uh, Flansburg taking all the way. Franco still has some work to do here. Three balls and a strike. Jack Flansburg. Junior infielder out of Orange, California, Cypress College. There's a smash in the right field for a base hit. Coming in to score is Mendenhall. Right behind him is Noisy. And the Sooners have opened it up here, now leading 10 to seven. Flansburg jumped all over that pitch and hit a shot right past first baseman Max Carter for a two-run single. Right fielder, That's seven. a three-run rally and now the Sooners have taken a 10 to seven lead. That's Flansburg's first hit of the game. That's the 15th hit for Oklahoma in this game. Alex Wise now comes to the plate. He takes strike one. Wise today grounded out beat out a bunt single, struck out, and then doubled. He's the one who doubled in the seventh inning and leading off and then tried to stretch into a triple and was thrown out on a fine relay from M Malik Jones. 0-1 count here on Alex Wise. Matt Franco, Bakersfield's fourth pitcher. Taking a long time, now steps off the rubber. Very deliberate game. Still one more after this. There's a, this is only the game one of a double header. Boy, contrast in Bakersfield and Oklahoma pitching. Very slow workers by Bakersfield and the Sooners are much more quickly to the plate. That pitch is high and away for a ball. One and one to count. Three runs in here in the eighth have given the Sooners a 10 to seven lead. Franco looks at first, here comes the 1-1 delivery. Pitches outside corner at the knees for strike two called. Alex Wise batting, Franco trying to work out of the inning. And here's the one two delivery. Swung on and missed. Foul tipped into the catcher's glove of Atkins. Franco works his way out of it, but the Sooners have scored three times to break the tie and have a 10 7 lead as we head into the bottom of the eighth inning. Three runs on two hits in the inning. Stop by, ask about their free pre trip safety check. 10 7 is 